zombies. They've terrorized our living rooms for nearly five decades. Fresh meat, right here, come and get it. But big scares can also mean big money. Perhaps no one knows that better than Robert Kirkman, creator of The Walking Dead. His hit show on the AMC cable channel has attained network level ratings. I think a big reason that The Walking Dead is successful is because it is so unique. It's not really like anything else that you can see on television. It's a survival show, it's a horror show, but there's so much more to it. It's very human, it's, it's a you know, big dramatic story. It's got a lot of relatable elements that I think uh, people seem to really latch onto. I think a lot of people are going to die, but at least they get to come back. Lizzie, when, when they come back, they aren't who they were. Yeah, but there's something. My desire for The Walking Dead was only for it to be successful enough to continue. So the fact that it's actually competing head-to-head uh, -head with network shows and actually beating a number of them is, uh, I don't know, somewhat surprising to me. It's certainly not something that I expected. The end of the first half of season four left the Grimes clan split up and their prison home decimated. Fans were left wondering what will happen next. People are separated. They've been scattered to the winds. They're all out on their own. We don't know, you know, where they are or what they're going to be doing. Uh, the, the, you know, the question remains, you know, can they be reunited? Will they be reunited? How will they be reunited? And that's something that we're going to answer, uh, you know, over the course of this back season. And, uh, you know, now we're going to see, uh, you know, where things go from here. You do. Bags, tubes, clamps, connectors, everything on the list and many viewers will be happy to see the characters back on the road. I mean, this is based on a comic book series, so I think if you read the comic book series, you know that you know they were always destined to leave that prison at some point. I think that uh, you know people like seeing them out on the road, they like seeing them survive, uh, but I think it's very important to the realistic nature of this show that there are breaks, there are places where they can kind of hunker down and you know actually uh, you know live for a while. With Judith and Carl, with my children, I won't have you there. One big question, will we see Carol again? You're not that woman who was too scared to be alone. Not anymore. Hey, I mean, I would never confirm or deny anything. I don't like doing spoilers, but, uh, you know, I will say that, uh, you know, Carol was exiled from the prison, and now all of the other characters have been exiled from the prison, so I would expect them to cross paths at some point in the future. But what we do know about the upcoming episodes is that we'll get to meet three new characters. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, there are three new characters, uh, Abraham, uh, Eugene, and Rosita. And they're, uh, you know, fan favorites from the comic book series that'll be uh, coming in at some point during the last half of this season. And uh, we're all very excited for, uh, for them to be brought in. It could be a big break for the new cast members, as some of the show's actors have appeared in major films. There are a lot of actors from the show are, are certainly, you know, taking off uh, career-wise, I think. Uh, I can expect big things from, you know, Andrew Lincoln, Norman Reedus, Stephen Young, Denai Guerrera, Lauren Cohan. I could actually go down the list. I think that, uh, you know, there's going to be some really cool stuff coming out from all of those guys. And gals. And if you're one of the fans just dying to see what happens next, then you'll have to watch The Walking Dead mid-season premiere on Sunday night.